Thank you so much once again for sticking to Y254 TV. You are watching The Power Talk Show and my name is Cheryl Blessing. I am here live on set with Beryl and Mali and we're having a conversation on black tax. So black tax, the way to define, it's the money that the family expects you to give. The minute you've started earning some money, the minute you, so they assume you're financially successful, Family members, relatives, siblings expect you to pay some money. So we asked you a question of whether you think it's important for you to support your family financially. Let me sample some of those comments. And this is from Facebook, I believe. We have Omosori Buegesusu Akopa Moja na Sisi Asanti. Then we have Cleopatra Belfast Cleo. Yes, Juwali Kwana Mimi in every moment of failure and success. Thank you so much for that. Queen Belinda says watching live. Thank you so much for watching us, Belinda. Um, uh, do we have some more comments? Yes, we do. Uh, we have Mumias KE who says, I see Lazima Wapewe support. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Julius Muraga says, tuned in from Nyeri Town, Asante Sana. Main man DJ Go says, Lakini siyo kila kitu wakutegeme. Pia mimi nina miradi zangu. Mm -hmm. That is also true. Yeah. La, uh, Lavi Lavina says, depends on an individual. Mwenye hataki kusaidia hawezi lazimisho kwa sababu pesa ni zake. Yeah. Lakini mimi ni kiyomoka siyezi sahau sa family and friends. Lazima ni wasaidia. Yeah. Thank you so much for that comment. We have Simon Peter who says, itabidi ju when I was at school ni pewe pocket money ya 900 nilikuwa napigia big bro wa niongeze ju naona haitoshi. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very honest comment, Simon. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Sasha Mali says, yes, in fact, watani, watani na? Watani na mishia. Hey, okay. shok, eh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so ndi wakupatie heshma. Mm. Then we have Ashem Mulkia says, wengi ukosa kuwa support, ndi waweke wazazi mfuko. Ah, mm. okay, interesting mm -hmm. comment. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, Sherry Spice who says, yeah. Kama wanaita jimsada yako, you can help. Thank you so much. Uh, any more comments from Facebook? Yes, we have uh, Morris Weringai Nyongesa who says, Ya, yeah, apo sawa, asanti. Mustafa Haji, Haji bin. Your names are very interesting, guys, by the way. <laughs> yes, I have two, but ju maramoja, just maramoja amambili, asanti. Raise, raise says, si lazima, ila kusaidia kwa uwezo wako tu, asanti. Joe Moura says, no, never. Hakuna watu wabaya ka relatives. Like, kwani nikiwa <laughs> down, wali nisaidia. That's interesting. Joseph Nyoike says, it is not a must, though you can help when you can. Thank you. Davy Montana pia amesema, sio lazima ina depend kama, pia wao wali kusaidia. Asanti. Wesley Gibson is following us. And we have Kenyan Echate says, mimi pesa yangu ni yangu. <laughs> That is very interesting. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that <coughs> tukona mchanga nyiko wa reactions. Mm, yeah. Kuna wenye watasaidia, kuna wenye hawataki kusaidia, na kuna wenye ina depend on how much help they got. Yeah. Now, based on that, let's start uh, talking about the people who lazima uko menisaidia ndo ni kusaidia. Because mm -hmm. our parents, most of the parents, wali, wali lipa fees all the way from kindergarten, primary, high school, most people pack a university. Yeah. So is it a necessity, Mali? Mm -hmm. Just because wali kusaidia hivyo, is it a necessity for you to help them? Ama ni venye watu anasema, ni kutegemea na roho yako? Um, it's, it's, it's not a tit for tat. Um, but if your dad went hard on you, uh, your mom went hard on you, kwa sababu... I always do the behind the scenes ya mzazi kulilipia fee labda mm. ya alikosa ama kuleta hiyo chakula hapo kwa meza ndo kule so if he provided if the parents provided for you until you're successful vile uko and maybe god may could bless to a position you can help back please do please mm. do i think it's it's just a blessing from them wakisema eh hii tu mtoto wetu ndo ametununulia hii that's a yeah. blessing. And Pia also, I'll say also, kama kuna wale wazazi, maybe they didn't come through and you're in a position to help them, please do. Because mm. God gives gives you different opportunities in life. Na life ni, you zunguka. Mm. So if wazazi wale kusaidia, help them if you can. If Pia kama wakukusaidia, but you, you're in a position where you can do it, 
please do yeah mm. Mm. so it's the way you've said i like the way you've started it's not tit for tat it's not mm. tit for tat mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 it should just come out of the goodness of your heart Very true. because most people we, we really never understand the sacrifices our parents go through yeah like burial the way you've given uh, you've told us you have a daughter mm. your daughter may not really understand the sacrifices that you're putting in for her to be okay for her health to be in check and do a but but when we get older, I think no, we understand yeah. and we appreciate the struggles of our parents more. Yeah. Do you think, particularly for you, now that you've become a parent, now you're more appreciative of the things that your parents did and it makes you want to help them out a bit more? I think being in a situation whereby your parents were, you get a first-hand experience. Uh, uh, the same way Malia said, it is not a tit for tat. But I also have a problem with some parents uh, just a disclaimer, there are some parents, uh, they use us as an insurance. Mm -hmm. True. True. Um, to me a mm. pesa. school fees ya pesa ngapi. Yeah. I had a friend, she once told the mom, me school kuandikia leta unizai. True. Because the mom was al always on her verge. What was this idea mwenzako kama wenzako? Was this idea mzazi kama mwenzako? It is not a must for us to help. Let us understand that fact. Yeah. I am not helping my daughter right now. I'm not being there in her life right now because I'm expecting that when I turn to 50s or 60s or when I retire from maybe a career that I'll adopt, she has to come and help me. Yeah. We help out of the goodwill. Mm. So first of all, as parents need to understand that you're helping that child right now. For those who are raising, for the kids that are in school, for those who are in campus, for those who are in campus, you are not your parents' insurance, insurance plan. Insurance plan, mm. yeah. Please, mm. let us understand that first. And it is not a must. Yeah. But out of you, just think about it, the struggles. You know, I used to look at my dad, and that man, I don't, I think ni mona kimi bayi viatu once. Mm. Mm. Don't let's tell my dad, as much as I don't, don't tell him all the time that I love you. Because the struggles he went through. Yeah. Mom used to go to work even doing night shifts and at church and lakwa nyumba. The struggles they went through. I don't give it because it's a must, but I'm like, these people stood out for me. Yeah. If I have, why not share? Yeah. 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 They've been there through thick and thin. Yeah. But it is not a must. That what do they say? Actually, yeah. I, I want to speak to uh, a bit to the parents. Yeah. Uh, the parents, please, yeah. When you mesema, it's not an insurance plan. Uki funza mtoto wako, muki muilimisha, muki mlea. Usikuwa na yo notion ya behind the scenes in like in 50s and 60s at an, at an idea. Please, yeah. eka kitu yako pia kando ya retirement benefit yako. Yeah. In case uki jana wako asi, asi yo, le, let's say asi omoke. Mm. Mm. You know? As you are more as you are successful in utafanya nini. Mm. So you have, as a parent also, you have to keep something for yourself. Mm. Yeah. Just Do, is, yeah, you see pay total pressure. Mm. Because let me tell you, every time you see your dad and mom calling, and they're not checking up on you, unangalia tuyo kolo na unatuyo ni do, inakupea pressure kama youth mm. man. Yeah, yeah. inakupea tu pressure. <laughs> Unaanza tu kukuwa na, unashanga say ganji ntato api. Yeah. Who will I call? You yeah. know who will mm. I call? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Na unajota most times, I, I agree with both of what you're saying. Because yes, kuna wazazi wenye, wanatumia watoto kama insurance plan. Mm. And it even starts from a very young age. Yeah. Ati soo cha ni pata mtuondo ni kwena mtuma tuma. Mm. Tinisha pata chip labor mtuwa mm. kufanya kazi kwa nyumba yeah, and all that. You know, yeah. So the pressure will build up up until you get older. Na right now, realistically with the economic times and the way the job scene is, it's harder for people to get jobs. It's yeah. harder for people to make as much money True. when you kwa kitambu. Mm. So sometimes even when the parents don't understand, inakuwa vigumu kwa vijana. Na most times tunatakata mzazi ya kwe in a place enye, nikipigia mamangu simu ni mwambie, eh leo sina fair, aneza mm. nitumia. Aneza si ati anasema, tiwe ni mtu mkubwa na fungu mefanya mm. hivi, ati ni bawako ame, ame kuja, ame jenga, na drive. It should be mnasaidiana. Mm -hmm. Because as Beryl is saying, no one really chooses that this is my parent. No one even chooses to be born. Unajipata tu umezaliwa, mm. you have all these responsibilities. Yeah. So it's upon the parents to do things na roho moja. 
so that hata wewe wakufunze kufanya na roho moja it's yeah. not an obligation it's not a responsibility ni mtu kujitolea mm. now on that note because of uh, the economic times and everything it's a bit harder for us to probably support as much as we would have in the past yeah. Yeah. because everything has changed the the prices are higher the rent everything the bills are higher yeah. sasa kuna watu wenye nakujanga unapata umejoinishwa group ya siju chama mnachangia siju <laughs> nani wedding yake ni in 3 months eh <laughs> ama siju school fees ya mtu aja clear university tichangeni ama graduation party yeah. watu wanakuwekea pressure ya kuchanga kuchanga all these things yeah. Una communicate aje kuambia hii priority kwangu Beryl. Uwepo kwa group ya wedding, <laughs> sijui kuna funeral, kuna sijui graduation party nini. How can you communicate and tell these people this is honestly not on my list of priorities? Cheryl, I always say I do not like embarrassment. So spend ya ibu. Mm. So what I'll do at that group I'll sit at a corner and I'll not communicate. But I have a very good friend of mine. The moment she she sees an ad exit. Mm. <laughs> There's a time we were there at a certain group ya matanga. Aka exit me I'm like babe si ungoje hata matanga toto. I was not involved, nobody involved me, yeah. so I am not doing anything. And my cue that was a funeral. Mm. She's like <laughs> in life they have to learn. But they excuse me at all to make a group without you have to call hi mama. Yeah. Kuna group fulani tunataka kuweka watu uko free tu uko okay tu kuweke. Yeah. Mm. But as for me I will not speak that is the weakness I have with most of these groups. I will not speak and I think if for me you cannot add me to any group without sending me most of the time if you want to add me in a group you have to send me the request. Mm. So that I think it does help. But kama ile kitambo uko na kujanga tu WhatsApp umeniweka me I will not ara start communicate ata and hi I will not give. Eh mm. tuanga wale members wanaambia anga kuna watu kwa hii group au ongeangi tutawatoa. I'm like <laughs> 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 Na you see by the way that's for funeral hata unaweza elewa kidogo useme ah watch at least ni nikae tu but wedding wedding mtu anakuwekea pressure timu na next week atujachanga pesa ijafika birthday sijui baby shower nini na watu wenye labda ta hujahusiana hujaongea you don't even know who this person is mali do you experience that as a man yeah 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 true a lot of groups in a lot of groups actually right now i have like a couple of groups weddings um stone gave you buy because i know i'm not yet married uh maybe all those people but i believe if let's say it's a wedding please just do something which your your, your within pocket your budget, yeah, within yeah. your budget yeah. mm. because it's me and you you know atutaki mm. umati a lot of people want a big wedding you know bring all these parties but i believe cheza tuna budget yako yeah and nikijipata kwezo groups most of the time also venya mesema i don't talk most of the time you chill chill but ile niko nayo nitatoa yeah and i'll be very honest with that that's my 500 shillings yeah hiyo ndo niko nayo cuz weddings weddings what they do is they they see you and they give a uh, card and they tell you e card ni 2000 mm. or ni 1500 amefikiria tu from his notion um, yeah anaweza kuona 1500 mm. yeah so anakupa hiyo card anakuambia hii ni 1500 so you mm. have to provide so mimi nakuwa very honest with my pocket i'm like you know what nitatoa 500 yeah and that's it yeah na ndio pia there's an advantage excuse what's up i only she who left the group <laughs> mwende tu kwa eg malize maneno 5000 you know na msonge mbele na maisha so how can we help these people become economically economically secure because the way mali you've said wazazi wajipange yeah. most parents you know they'll pay bills they'll pay all these things but then they don't have a plan of when i retire when I, uh, this job ends when something ends how can i transfer this money to that yeah. so how can we advise our parents or even us as we are getting 
unaweza we getting older na nini yeah. tujipangeaje ndio hata watoto wakimaliza ama nini when you've retired you are secure uko na shamba uko na pali pako you have some money that you know in as any sort nah, that's that's a very good question so um like for me and my I, i'm talking about my parents specifically my mom mm. Um, I've tried as much as possible to enlighten her in um, financial education. In terms of, you know, there's kuna kusev, kuna ukieka pesa for like, if you buy this kind of stocks kwa hi bank, in early ages uki umetulia kule nyumbani, utakuona tumia elfu moja na miatano yako tu, utakuona mm. kutumia. So I've tried kidogo kidogo kumu enlighten to that particular aspect. Na so far, She's good so far. See, ni singu, si raisi sana umpata meni pigiati mm. ako stranded. Because yeah. anajua kuna KCB loan, kuna nini, kuna nini, kuna nini, anajua kuzi maintain. Mm. Anajua everything. So I've tried as much as possible kumu enlighten in that particular financial aspect. Mm. Ya ku understand what, how you can navigate in that yeah. space. Ya yeah, ndio pia. Na ime msaidia sana because na kujanga home na pata more developments. Mm -hmm. na zile pia mimi nilikuwa nimechangia and inanifurahisha because i'm um, like you know she knows where she's heading to mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, she knows at the moment pale anafikia atataka kukaa chini and uh, anaelewa everything so financial mm -hmm. education to your parents to the people who are maybe trying to borrow you money mm -hmm. yeah and also if maybe you have friends ambao you know anaweza fanya something a skill yeah, una muonesha what to do, just do it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And just so that there's a saying of instead of giving someone fish, yeah. you teach them how to how fish. How to fish. Yeah. So that they become <coughs> self-sufficient. Yeah. Na financial literacy ni kila kitu sisi hata sisi wenyewe, yeah. we should learn. Yeah. We should know how to get maybe bonds, kuingia kwa sacos nini yeah. in a way that inasaidia. It's not just income do unategemea. True. Now Barry, in mm. your case, would you give your relatives or your siblings a job such that to say with your younger siblings when you're an entrepreneur and you're starting out would you recommend that unaopatia kazi ndio wajue your responsibility because the the way we've said so many mm -hmm. kids do not really understand uh, financial responsibility or even the value of money because they've not gotten to that point where they're earning money or they really understand so would you give them opportunities wambie basi kuja ushikili hapo ufanye hivi na kupatia 200 ama ufanye hivi alafu at the end of the month na kupatia some money would you advise doing that to family your siblings and relatives 100% i i don't like, let me say partly of whatever i do i do drop shipping whereby i post things online then okay. if i get my clients i send it to them uh, if there is someone that is ampata within nairobi i can give them the product uh, i uh, my brother, Mwenyana Nifuata, uh, I used to do Nakwenda mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I wanted to show my brother this is how we work. Took him online, Kamambia, easy vitu, ziko hivi, zina posti wanga hivi. Yeah. Uh, you recommend this, how you get clients one, two, three. So there's a time even, Nikipata a job, and I'm not within because I'm still a student and I'm navigating through getting this one, two, three, kufanya one, two, three. And it's a mini hustler. Yeah. <laughs> so I do a lot of things. Yeah. Maybe so me and Fanny end up the doing, uh, I teach uh, poetry. Mm -hmm. Like uh, right now people are preparing to go to the nationals, regionals, and those measures. So at times, no other clients, I'm going to be I need an item and um, maybe say I'm, I'm at Karibangi and I need an item. I have to go to town to pick that item. Maybe I'm in Mbakasi. I cannot yeah. go to town. So I called my brother. I'm like, hey, mambo kwa, let's go in the kwa shop. Fika, ambia flani flani ni mekutuma, natuma payment, wakupatia, ulete, udeliver, I'm giving a hundred bob. Yeah. yeah. So I teach them how we navigate. For my younger brother, the one in grade six, mumu ambia, nasika kutuma, maybe to a friend, nasika kutuma kwa beki, nakupatia ten bob. Mm. I ten bob, nikesho ya kwa snack. Yeah. Tumelewana, because tomorrow I'm not expecting you to ask me. So I always yeah. teach, I'm trying to adapt them to financial literacy. Like mm. kidogo, kidogo, na jo, mta kipata nga pesa. It's not all for the snack. It has in a fashikile position flani flani. Mm. And I try to learn. I do a lot of online learning. A mm. lot. Like right now I was looking at yesterday I was looking at a certain uh, blog on YouTube whereby they're teaching us how to buy uh, stocks on Safaricom. Yeah. Yeah. At the right time, Nini and who to use the modes. So we are learning. 
And when I get such opportunities, I'm like, because my brother is working right now, I'm like, hey, by the way, they know. Ah, uh, kuna opportunity flani, yeah. buangalia vilo mta naongea. I come down, we sit down, I'm like, oh, no, na tuneza fanya aje. Neza tuwa 1,500, tuwa tuwa pisangapi. Yeah. Neza tuwa 500. So at times, the little things we do, they, they do what they learn. Mm. Yeah. For mom and dad, neza say, mom, for me, I am involved in, they call it chamas, mm -hmm. and the person when you're engages, mom. Mm. Yeah. So I think for mom, she's at a good place right now, and is yeah. a navigator and same to dad. But now for the siblings that want to come, that is the little I try to do. Mm. Yeah. And it's better for you to educate them from a very early age. This is how you earn, this is how you spend, this is how you save. Mm -hmm. From a very early age. Mm. By the time I think at the first job, Hata squander pesa yake yote. True. True. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's something that's progressive. Yeah. Now, as we wrap up the conversation, maybe yeah. Mali, you can tell us, because I know this is something that really affects the men, yeah. the impact on your mental health. Yeah. Finances <clears throat> really take a toll on where unafikiri, santa toapi, intafanyaje, how will I sustain my people? Maybe you have a girlfriend. Naipia kona demands zake. So how do you prioritize your mental health even through this journey of black tax and managing <laughs> your finances? Yeah, that's heavy because you know mental 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 stability when it comes to finances that's mm -hmm. quite heavy and it affects a lot of men because you want to make all the people joy joyful you yeah. know you want to create a smile to everybody from your girlfriend to your mom your your father your sisters mm -hmm. So um, I've practiced to to be just open with myself and to understand where I am with my finances na me at this point me wongia tu kweli mimi nakwambia mm. gatu staki staki ni kupe hopes nakwambia gatu manze at this point niko hivi na hivi na hivi what do you think you yeah. know because if if ni kupe hopes and promises kwanza promises uh, don't don't give false promises to people mm -hmm. yeah so be very open with yourself and please understand your finances yeah. you need to understand your finances as a man or as anyone you need to understand them and also something else is i i talk to god so much yeah <laughs> without that yeah. i think ningekuwa nimeingia mahali tu yani nika so uh, uh, I talk to God and also I'm open with myself, with mm. my finances and yeah. to the people which share my finances. Yeah. Because yeah. honesty is really the best policy. Yeah. yeah. So let me sample some of the comments that we have mm. as uh, we wrap up the show. We have Alex Hussein who says, yeah, lazima jupia hawa walikuwa maybe wana kusaidianga before uomoke. Mm. Now the question we asked was, do you think it's important or necessary for you to support your family financially? We have uh, Bernard Ikedi, he says, live from Nangili, Simbalo Junction, Kakamega County. Asante sana, Bernard. We have Mengich KE, inategemea ni support gani wali nipea <laughs> from Marigat Baringo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do we have any more comments? <laughs> so, I think so many people are echoing, inategemea what wali kusaidia aje. Lakini, yeah. kusaidia ni muhimu. Yeah. Venye kadosh, vero vero, anasema, <laughs> yes, you have to make an effort. Siblings are really going through a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Kim Paul says Lazima. Mm. Asante sana. Wilson Snock says yes. How ndio watapanga mazishi yako. Oh, <laughs> Wilson yeah. ni extreme, but that's true. For the relatives, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is so extreme, but there's a lot of truth in that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Willy Bazuke he says count me in. Asante sana. Um, um, we have then Enoch Brand JR who says, Hakuna kitu lazima. It's either ukona iyo roho ama hauna. Mm -hmm. That's true. It depends on who you are. Yeah. Billy Wi-Fi says, Hapo wakuna kuagyu. Hii ni lazima. Huwezi omoka alafu family bakinyuma. Sasa uli omoka kwa nini? Yeah. That's a very good question pia po Billy. Abdul Nick says, No, maybe the mom, dad and siblings. Wengine wajipange. Wangu kenayo. Watu wajipange. Waweru wa keyboard says, Sio lazima, but inafa umtoe kwa jam asi kuomba. Asi kuombe, ombe. That's mm, true. Kipatia yeah. mtu njia kujisaidia ni better. Yeah. Omosori Buegususu says, Pamoja asanti sana. Cleopatra Belfast Cleo says yes. Jiwalikuwa na mimi every moment of failure and success. 
I think we read that before, but thank you so much. I like the way to me put a variety mm. when you are support and when you have to support. Yeah. So now let's get our parting shot from our guests. Beryl, ladies first, what's your parting shot to our audience today? Oh, one thing I want to tell. Um, let me speak uh, firstborns. Do not kill me. Yeah. But let me speak <laughs> on behalf of you guys. Please As do. a firstborn and as a firstborn daughter in an African home, mm. do not kill yourself. It is not a must, and whatever you've done is enough. I, because I am talking from a personal experience, and I'm learning not to kill myself. Mm. At times, you go to extreme levels, you're pain by your mental health, as Mali had said, is not stable. So do not kill yourself. And uh, just do it. Do not take it as a, as a must, and it's not an oppression. It is something that our siblings are very, very grateful for. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they see what you do. I know the moms and the dads see what we do, and uh, they really appreciate from a point of view. They really appreciate. Mm. Keep on doing whatever you are doing, but remember to take of care of yourself first because it is better you give the little than to give nothing. Because yeah. if, when you kill yourself with it, maybe. Uh, and when your health is not okay, you cannot even give the little. So you give the little. Just be honest with yourself, whatever. Today I've learned from Mali. <laughs> be honest with your finances. Yeah. I am training that. Yeah. Uh, so best be but honest with yourself and give whatever you can give. Thank Do not you. kill yourself. Yeah. yeah. So basically just live within your means. Live within when your budget. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mali, yeah. give us your parting shot. Please in under 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please live within your means. And uh, if you can, please help your parents. It's a blessing. And your siblings, help them if you can. If you can. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. I think that's a lovely way to end the conversation. Don't kill yourself. Yeah. Do what you can. But it's a blessing when you do. So depending on who you are, depending on how you feel, you can give, you can choose not to give. So that's it for us today. Black tax to Milan, it's something that we all experience. Mm -hmm. So it's about balance. Upate the balance of who deserves who doesn't, and what is within your means. So that is the end of our conversation today. We will have a repeat of this airing tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. We'll also have another wonderful show next week with another interesting conversation for you guys. So remember to tune in every Thursday between 7 and 8 p.m. on Y254 TV. We have more amazing shows coming your way, so stay tuned to Y254 TV. But that is it for us today. Thank you to the entire team, and thank you for you guys for watching us throughout. And uh, we will see you again next week. My name is Cheryl Blessing and this is the Power Talk Show.